Welcome to the spoken tutorial on schematic creation and simulation using eSIM. In this tutorial, using eSIM, we will learn to create circuit schematic, generate SPICE netlist, convert SPICE netlist to ng-SPICE format, simulate the netlist. To record this tutorial, we will use Ubuntu Linux OS 16.04, eSIM version 1.1.2. To practice this tutorial, basic knowledge of analog and digital electronics is required. To launch eSIM, double click on the eSIM icon on your desktop. Alternately, you can also Open eSIM from the terminal. To do so, press Ctrl, Alt and T keys together. Now type eSIM and press Enter. eSIM window opens up. Note that the project files created will be saved in the eSIM workspace directory by default. Press OK in the dialog box. Let us now create an RC circuit schematic and simulate it. Click on the New Project button to create a new project. In the Enter Project Name field, type RC and click on OK. Please note that spaces are not allowed in the project name. Our new project RC will now appear under Projects. Double click on RC to select the project. To create the circuit schematic, click Open Schematic button on the left toolbar. Click on S in the Confirmation dialog box. Ignore the EE schema error by clicking OK. The schematic editor window opens up. Let us now add components to the schematic. Click on Place Component Tool from the right toolbar. Now click anywhere on the editor. Type eSIM underscore devices in the filter field. Then select R and click on OK. Now click anywhere on the editor. Place the resistor R on the editor by clicking on the editor once. Zoom in by pressing F1. You can also do so by scrolling the scroll button of your mouse. Click on the editor once again. Type again eSIM underscore devices in the filter field. Then select C and click on OK. Place the capacitor C on the editor as done before. Click again on the editor. Type eSIM underscore sources in the filter field. Select sign and click on OK. Place the sign on the editor as done before. Similarly, type GND and place a ground terminal on editor. Similarly, type eSIM underscore plot, select the plot underscore V1 and place it on the editor. We need one more plot for output. Place the cursor on plot underscore v1, right click and select copy component. Now place it on the editor. This is the plot component used to plot voltages at the required nodes. Let us now add labels to the schematic. The labels are used to name the required nodes in the circuit. This will help us 
understand the netlist and connection of a circuit. Click on Place Global Label tool from the right toolbar. Now click Anywhere on the editor. Type IN in the text field and click on OK. Similarly, place one more label out in editor. Let us move and arrange the components to create the RC circuit. To move the resistor, place the cursor on it and press the key M. Place it at the preferred location by clicking on Editor again. To rotate the resistor, place the cursor on it and press the key R. Similarly, move the plot components and labels as shown. Now, let us connect the various components using wires. Click on Place Wire button from the right toolbar. Click on one end of the sign source. Move the cursor point to one end of the resistor and click on it. Similarly, connect all the components as demonstrated here. The plot components are placed at the output and input nodes. This helps us to view the corresponding voltage waveforms on simulation. To annotate the schematic components, click on Annotate button from the top toolbar. Click on Annotate and then click on OK. The schematic is now annotated. To assign value to the resistor, right click on it and choose Edit Component. Click on Value, type 1K and click on OK. Similarly, assign value 1 mu for capacitor. Now, let us do electrical rules check for this schematic. Click on Perform Electrical Rules Check button on the top toolbar. Click on Run. We can see the errors. Global label not connected and a pin is not driven to components. Ignore the global label not connected error since we have used the labels for naming the nodes only. Close the ERC window. Note that the ground terminal pin is highlighted by a green arrow in the schematic. It means that this pin is not driven by any power source. To prevent this, let us place a power flag. Click on Place Component tool. Click on the schematic editor. Type PWR underscore flag and click OK. Place it on the schematic editor. Connect this power flag to the ground terminal using a wire. This indicates that a power source will be connected here. Now repeat the electrical rules check. There will be only global label not connected errors which can be ignored. Click on Delete Markers and then click on Close. Now, let us generate the netlist of this circuit. Click on Generate Netlist button from the top toolbar. Click on the Spice tab. Check the option Default Format and then click on Generate. Click on Save. A KiCad netlist of the RC circuit has been generated. Now, minimize the schematic editor. Now, let us add simulation parameters to this netlist. Click on Convert KiCad to NGSpice from eSIM toolbar. 
Let us add transient parameters in Analysis tab. By default, transient is selected. Scroll down to enter values in the transient analysis fields. Make start time equal to zero by doing the following. Type zero in the start text box. Similarly, make the step time 5 milliseconds and stop time 30 milliseconds. Let us add the source details. To do so, click on Source Details tab. Enter the offset value as 0 and press Tab. Type 5 for amplitude, 50 for frequency and 0 for both delay time and damping factor. We will talk about the NGSPICE model, device modeling and the Subcircuits tab in later tutorials. Press the Convert button to convert the KiCad netlist to NGSPICE netlist. A confirmation dialog box appears. Here, let's click OK. Close the KiCad to NGSPICE tool by clicking Close at the top right corner of the window. Click on Simulation button from the eSIM toolbar to simulate the example. An NGSPICE terminal and plot windows opens along with the Python plot window. The plot waveforms show transient analysis of the RC circuit. Close the NGSPICE terminal and plot window. Select the Python plot window by clicking on Plotting tab in the dock area. Maximize the Python plot window. To plot the output, check the In and Out nodes and click on the Plot button. The output plot is shown in blue and input plot in red. To view the RMS values of node voltages, Click on the Multimeter button. The Multimeter window opens up, which will be on top of all other windows. Maximize the schematic and drag the Multimeter windows on the corresponding nodes of the schematic. Now, let us summarize. In this tutorial, we learn to create circuit schematic Generate SPICE netlist. Convert SPICE netlist to NGSPICE format. Simulate the netlist. Here are few assignments for you to solve. Watch the KiCad and the NGSPICE tutorials on the Spoken Tutorial website. Create voltage divider by changing components in eSIM and simulate it. Similarly, Create the a stable multi vibrator in eSIM and simulate it. Please post your timed queries in this forum. Please post your general queries on eSIM in this forum. FOSI team coordinates the TBC project. Spoken Tutorial project is funded by NME ICT MHRD Government of India. For more details, visit this website. This is Usha from IIT Bombay signing off. Thank you.